Okay, this cooler coming back at you. He's got the key to the locking nut, lug nut. There it is here. You put it on here. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I have a. Let's see what we have here. Eleven sixteenths. Socket, sorry. Now what you want to do is back this thing off. And I've already had it off prior to this, so it looks. Now what we want to do is take it off and I, I forgot something else. I forgot my plastic cup. If you watch the other video on wheel rotation, I did that same thing last time too. There's no need for you to toss your lug nuts on the ground. You get some kind of a cup like this plastic cup and put your lug nuts in there. This is a locking one. Uh, I don't want locking wheel nuts on here. Let's just say you lose the key. Then you're, you, I almost said you're up Shits Creek without a paddle. Forget it, you know what I mean? So that's why I replace them. Somebody's going to steal my wheels. I, it's never happened before. I'm not too far away from my car, to be honest with you. I don't uh, go anywhere to leave my car. Like, if I go anywhere and I'm going to leave my car, I take my wife's 2009 Corolla. So I don't take my specialty cars anywhere and leave them without watching. That's how hard it is to, to loosen up a lug nut that came from uh, the factory that a machine actually put these lug nuts on. I like my hand tightened lug nuts. I know they're not over tightened or under tightened. Okay, now we got them all loose. The way that I do it is take this extension off Make sure you move it with your hand, and I can't, so let's just check this out again, find out what's going on. Okay. I wrote Volkswagen on this socket, so I'll know that this is the one to use the next time around. Once you get these loose enough so that they're, they can be taken off more or less by hand, then you jack the car up off the ground. Okay. Now that we got it that far, let's jack this car up off the ground. Let's lift the, the, the wheel up off the ground. I'm, I, yeah, that'd be interesting to see the whole car jacked up off the ground, wouldn't it? I'd have it about two feet over my head if I could. But that's the suffering we have to go through as do-it-yourself mechanics. That's what we are, right? Do-it-yourself mechanics. Oops. Okay. You want to crisscross tighten the knees down if you, if you think of it. When it gets so tight you can't back it off, just put your foot down there, press the tire, and wheel back against the, uh, the mounting here. Or the brake housing, whatever you want to call it. I know this is heavier than the one that's on the Scion TCRS 8.0. That one's about 55 or so pounds. I'll bet this was about over 60 pounds. And that's gonna, you're gonna lose gas mileage because of it. 
and it's going to be harder to steer it. But you might like that. Not that you're losing gas mileage, but you might like the fact of a wider wheel, a wider tire. And that's exactly what this is. I would leave the, this size tire, 235 in the back, and possibly go down to a 225 or less, 215, 205, whatever, in width, so that it'd be easier to t turn. Also, you're not going to uh, wear out your, your uh, steering mechanism and everything else because of this huge tire that it has to accommodate. I don't believe in it. Whoa, is this baby heavy. It's going to be fun putting it back on, I'll tell you that. Let's just see what this thing is. Holy smokes, I can't see nothing. Well, it's 54.2. That's what happens when you have a digital readout in uh, outdoors. 54.2 pounds. That's not too bad. I'll have to go check and see what the uh, Scion TC weight was. 54.2. Okay, I'm off for now. Cool her out. Let's cool her back at you. I want to just give you a hot tip here. Make sure you have some nice gloves here. You can get them at Walmart. They're the disposable nitrite, nitrile, I mean, gloves. 30 to a box. They're, not, they're pretty cheap. That's so that when you go back in the house to get something, you don't have to wash your hands every time. 